I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in La Quinta, California for NARIT's 2013 Leader in the Light Working Forum. Joining me today is Bennett Thomas, Vice President of Finance and Sustainability with Hersha Hospitality. Bennett, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Matt. Uh, your company was recognized as a 2012 Leader in the Light in the lodging sector. Can you talk a little bit about the evolution of sustainability at your company over the years? A few years back, we developed a program called EarthView. And EarthView is used by the portfolio of hotels at Hirsch Hospitality Trust, which is about 65 hotels, uh, as well as other owners. So other owners are using it, and we're seeing a growing interest for more owners to adopt it. Um, you know, for us, sustainability and EarthView are synonymous, but at the same time, it's equally as much about strategy. You know, we're seeing, you know, today a significant but also growing interest among key stakeholder groups from investors, customers, employees, um, you know, et cetera. So it's, it's definitely a growing uh, field that we want to pay attention to. Um, for us, you know, EarthView is important as we are a multi-brand owner of hotels. And while all the brands are doing great things around sustainability, what EarthView has allowed us to do is to help implement it very effectively. Um, so I work and collaborate with all the heads of sustainability at the various brands. And what's great is that we're all working towards a shared vision for a sustainable future. You know, so it really works out well. Um, you know, for us, you know, we, we think EarthView is a little bit different in that uh, our focus on uh, bringing a financial rigor and sensibility to how we evaluate returns, you know, be them financial returns or social and environmental returns. And in what ways are you able to measure the success of your sustainability initiatives and what type of results have you seen? Sure, Matt. We, uh, we measure the success of our initiatives on three different dimensions. So on the financial dimension, social, um, as well as the environmental. Starting off with the financial, our program has generated IRRs north of 30%. So very significant financial savings and returns. Um, on the environmental perspective, you know, we looked at it on carbon emissions for the initiatives we put in place. Um, we've reduced emissions about 10%, water usage about 7%, and waste sent to landfills by about 40%. You know, on that last dimension, it's by simply implementing guest room recycling as a standard at all of our hotels in our portfolio. Um, finally, on the social basis, you know, on those returns, we look at how much have we given back to the communities. You know, we want each of our hotels to be very involved and be a, a, an integral part of the communities that they operate in. And on that front, uh, we've donated approximately 5,000 community service hours across our portfolio, including our corporate offices. So a significant amount. Um, and that affects our local communities. On a more global basis, uh, we are one of the first partners with a nonprofit called Clean the World. And Clean the World distributes used hotel soap. They sanitize it, repackage it, and then send it to developing countries and provide it to children, um, particularly in developing countries, the two uh, or top two leading causes of death for children under the age of five are hygiene-related diseases. And by simple hand washing with soap, it can reduce those deaths by a significant percentage. So by that way, we're hitting you know, the social side on the local and, and, the, and on a global basis. So it's something that's very important to us. And what are the inherent challenges of implementing energy efficiency or sustainability initiatives at a hotel operator as opposed to uh, another property type? Sure, you know, I think there's inherent challenges and opportunities in all asset classes. Uh, for us, you know, we have tenants or essentially guests that are staying for one to two nights, say. So to continually educate uh, these tenants or guests, it, it's a hard thing to do, you know, versus what you can do on the operational side at a commercial office space. So what we try to do is to try to implement sustainability that's almost invisible to the guest. Uh, for example, we're implementing guest room occupancy sensors across our portfolio. And within this, these energy management systems, they'll detect whether a guest is in the room or outside of the room. It's typically a, a, a business transient guest may be outside the room for 8 to 12 hours a day. So how can we ensure that the lights are not on, the TV is not on, HVAC um, is not set during the summer to a, an extremely low temperature. So this system will correct for those items by detecting whether a guest is in the room. Uh, we've seen returns, now we've done studies on it, up to 35%. So significant savings for our guests. And you know, it's something that they do not have to actively participate in, but they do notice and they do appreciate it. And last question, what do you see as the next stage or evolution in the use of energy efficiency practices or sustainability? Sure, Matt. You know, what we're seeing is just growing transparency. I think that's a theme uh, that myself and many of our colleagues, we talk about often. You know, from uh, looking at uh, what NAREED is doing now with Gresby 
and, and looking at the types of information we're giving to investors. Um, looking at Energy Star, Portfolio Manager. It's, there's a growing list of cities that are now fully disclosing uh, building and energy data. Um, and finally, on, you know, for us particularly, RFPs. You know, so corporate travel managers are asking very specific sustainability questions to evaluate our portfolio or you know, a group of hotels versus others. You know, so we're hoping that sustainability you know, can you know, hopefully differentiate us in that process and we can win that business. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Matt. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.